Good evening and welcome. My name is Pearl Lacanio Furi. This is City News Daily on City TV. Coming up, we'll tell you why the Microfinance and Small Loan Centre is threatening to publish names and photographs of defaulting members of parliament and Ghanaian celebrities. Also in the news, parts of Ghana's capital, Accra, flooded after a few hours of rain. Stay with us for the details. The Microfinance and Small Loans Center, Maslok, says it will soon publish the names and photographs of some members of parliament and Ghanaian celebrities who have failed to pay for cars they acquired on a high purchase arrangement from the center. Well, this is coming from the chief executive officer of Maslok, Stephen Amwa. More than 300 vehicles have been taken away from individuals, including members of parliament, who failed to repay loans they contracted from Maslok. Additionally, Maslok has mounted a surge to retrieve more than 150 vehicles whose owners are indebted to the center. The beneficiaries of Maslok's credit facility are indebted to it beyond 100 million Ghana cities. Well, let's talk about floods in Ghana and major parts of the country's capital, Accra, were today submerged in flood waters after a few hours of rain. Most drivers were forced to make detours while others parked their vehicles on major highways. Areas such as Teshinungwa, La Paz, Shiashi, Dakoman and Dansuman were badly affected. Now the flood waters washed debris and all kinds of filth onto the streets. This has raised questions about past and present government's competence to address the flooding situation in the capital, Accra. While a former head of state, that Jerry John Rollins, was not spared, the walls of his rich residence collapsed. Former President John Dramani Mahama is in Liberia's capital, Monrovia, as leader of the Elections Observer Mission. Liberians go to the polls on October 10 to elect a new president and legislators for the country. This is the third time the country is going to the polls after the war that ravaged it. The incumbent president, Ellen Johnson Sirleaf, who is Africa's first female president, will not run this time. Former President John Germani Mahama addressed the media when he arrived in Monrovia. Ghana's president, Nana Ekufuadu, today began his tour of the northern region. Addressing a gathering at Nairi, the president urged residents to support the government's planting for food and jobs policy, adding that the beneficiaries will be increased next year. He also warned that persons caught smuggling fertilizers to neighboring countries will be dealt with according to the laws of the country. He revealed that two districts, namely Nanton and Yonyo, will be created as new districts in the northern region. The president also announced that water supply to Gambaga, Nalerigu and Walewale will soon be done. Finally, he revealed that about 447 communities will be connected to the national grid by next year. And that does it for today's edition of City News Daily on City TV. My name is Pearl Akanya Ofori. Thanks for your time. Second Image International Admissions in Progress. Courses available include hairdressing, beauty therapy and fashion. Call us 1243-331-999. Evening and weekend classes are also available.